their story captured the hearts of Canadians and garnered worldwide attention. Calgary speed skater Gilmore Jr. selflessly gave up his spot in the 1,000 meter race, letting teammate Denny Morrison race in his signature event. Morrison delivered in Sochi, winning a silver medal, then following it up with a bronze in the 1500. They arrived to a hero's welcome yesterday at the Calgary airport, got to visit us this morning. We are so happy to see you guys. And you know what? I mean, I think all of Canada, well, first of all, we're so proud of you both. Um, at how close are you now? Pretty close. <laughs> uh, something I'll never forget for sure, and uh, sort of solidifies our friendship. That was already we were already really good friends, but uh, it definitely solidifies it. Uh, Gilmore, take us through what happened and how you were approached and how the decision making process went for you. Well, back in that the Canadian trials in December, when Denny had fallen, and I, I watched his re race, and he came fifth. And use the alternate, and uh, I kind of already said it's like I'll give up my spot. But then one of my teammates is like, "Okay, keep that on the hush hush, and you know that might come back and bite you in the ass. But if the time is right, then maybe say it again." And after the 500 meter, my coach kind of approached me, and um, you know he, he left it up to me to talk to Denny, mm -hmm. and you know to see if he wanted to skate. And uh, so I just sent him a quick text. I said, "Are you ready to skate a thousand?" And uh, he didn't believe it was me at first. <laughs> he thought really? it was like, cause we, have, we get Russian numbers when we're there right. so that we can get communications and stuff like that. But uh, so it was my Russian number popped up. He thought it was some joke. Yeah. And uh, I was like, no, it's me. Like, I'm at COA since we came to the Can Olympic House. And yeah, we talked it out, hugged it out, and yeah, yeah he skated two days later. And you had never, he had never given you any inkling that he had been kind of mulling this over beforehand? Not really, no. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what did you think? Um, I was surprised. Um, it, you know, it's the it's a shot at racing at the Olympics, and uh, it's difficult to believe that anyone would give that up. But uh, I know that uh, Gilmore is one just one of those guys who, you know, he's a team player. Uh, he's a humble dude, and uh, he's out there to do what's best for the entire team. And uh, I'm happy that uh, he came to that conclusion. <laughs> now, what what went through your mind? I mean, I mean, it's easy for us to, from the outside to say, okay, it's a selfless act, but. I mean, what did you have to kind of go through to make the decision? I mean, for me, it was an easy decision. I mean, I'm not... Was it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a thousand meter skater by any means. Like, I get by based on some of the speed I get, mainly, like, my 500 meter. That's kind of my bread and butter. And so, the thousand meters is 500 meters, but with 500 meters at the end. <laughs> and Denny's is, like, a, a real thousand meter skater. So, um, you know, he was the best chance that we had a medal. He had some unfortunate circumstances at the trials, and he mm -hmm. fell. And so this was kind of a way to make it right. And he's our best skater for sure. So and he obviously proved that with a silver medal. Yeah, and two beautiful medals sitting here. These are super heavy. You said that actually they, they kind of weigh a little bit heavy on you when you wear them both. Yeah. They're, they're super I have to wear them for extended time. The shoulders kind of crunch together and down. And I start slouching and I have an 80-year-old lady back. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful. Gilmore, you've never touched these. No, you I refuse. won't touch him. Yeah, I won't, I, I won't touch I mean, I'm a hockey player, and touching Stanley Cup is kind of forbidden yeah. until you actually win it. And so that's the kind of way I'm approaching. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy. But these are five. The it's, it's the table that's yeah. in danger, I think, here. Now, did you have a sense afterwards? Because, of course, you, social media, you guys both on Twitter. Um, but did you really have a sense of how Canada had reacted when, when this all went down? I never really got that full sense until we got to the airport mm -hmm. and uh, the amount of attention, the number of cameras that were there and everything, it was, uh, it blew me away. And your family was there when yeah. you arrived yesterday. Uh, what did they say to you? Well, they, initially they were just going to wait in the cell phone waiting area, then I was going to text them, I was going to grab my bag and walk out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they were pretty overwhelmed with how much support was there for you know, our whole team, and the whole Olympic team. and. Uh, you know, my mom might have, might have shed a couple of tears for sure, but uh, yeah, definitely it's pretty amazing coming home and walking through those doors and listening to all the cheers and stuff. What have you guys received any any funny requests? I mean, obviously, all media is all over you. We all want to talk to you. Have you received anything like and now? Your names are are you know they're intertwined. It's Denny and Gilmore. <laughs> you said it could be a sitcom. Have you, <laughs> you guys, does somebody want to do a reality show with you or anything? Oh, that would be epic, yeah. There was that one that asked, you know, since Tess and Scott had their own reality show, yeah. Right, yeah. there should be a Denny and Gil, but I don't know what we replied to that one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. We don't spend as much time together as Tess and Scott. So. Yeah. No, yeah. Wait, maybe, maybe yeah. not. Uh, so what's next for you guys? You actually are, you don't have any time to just rest. Your season continues. Yeah, we'll be back in Calgary for about 10 days now, and uh, then we go back to Europe for a couple of World Cups, and that will be the end of the season for us. It's less.
We leave on Tuesday next week. Right. So like, okay. <laughs> Six days. So. Uh, did you at least, after you guys were done skating, did you at least get to have fun a little bit and celebrate? You could say that. Your collective yeah. victory. Yeah. 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 You could sure. say that. No, yeah, there's. I mean, we've lost our boys, so we got to do it a couple events and. Uh, that's what you're on the Olympic team, though. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, we got to see both hockey games. Oh, I got to see both hockey games. Yeah. yeah we got to see the men's games. And, um, yeah, After the closing ceremonies, they had a Team Canada sort of uh, pizza party with uh, yeah. drinks and pizza and videos of all the highlights of the Olympics playing and stuff. And uh, it was pretty cool to have the whole national yeah. team there, or the whole Canadian Olympic team there from people in the mountains as well as on the coastal village. So. Yeah. Well, you know awesome. what? I have to say, I mean, that was, of all the images that kind of came out of the, the Sochi games, uh, especially for Canadians, um, this is one of them that people will remember forever. So really brings a tear to all of our eyes, I think. And we're very proud of you. So please come back anytime. And we hope that you get to, to touch your own. Yeah, four, four more years. <laughs> one of these no. days. <laughs> four more years. Four more years. Uh, Gilmore Jr., Denny Morrison, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thanks, guys. thanks for having us on.